Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something different. We are in a different part of the house and today I'm going to show you our costume storage. Let's go! Now some of you might have seen our costume storage before in previous videos, but today I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth in our costumes, how we store them, uh, our accessories, as you can see our hats, um, and how we keep all, all everything nice and organized and tidy. So first and foremost, our costume storage double functions as a guest room. So this couch can actually fold out into a twin bed. And underneath, I store my crinolines. Now above the bed, we have a few shelves that we store uh, most of Melchior's hats on here. Um, over the years, I've collected these antique hat stands that have these beautiful floral paintings on them. Um, and that's where I keep most of our hats on. Next to the bed, we have a chest of drawers that has some bed linen in them. Uh, I have two antique wraps um, that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them because they're antique and I'm afraid to use them. <laughs> um, I have one of one item that I have a trouble storing with properly because of the color. So this one just lives here. Um, and this is my uh, Duchess hat, which is actually pretty heavy. Um, and this was actually my first attempt at millinery, also on a vintage hat stand. And then on display, I have my beautiful reticule that Kat made for me for my Secret Santa gift exchange. Then around the corner, we have another one of those IKEA cabinets that we have upstairs. Um, this has half like bed linen uh, duvets in them for when we have guests over. But this is also our uh, shoe storage where my American Duchess collection lives. And this tutu just lives here because I'm afraid to hang it between the rest of the costumes because it will get flattened. So here it will stay nice and fluffy. And once again, we have our hat storage. These are mostly mine, as you can probably tell. <laughs> um, I also store some of my wigs here on wig heads. Um, but yeah, these are my bonnets that I've made myself, um, a top hat, one of my Turkish turban up there. Up there. Um, so yeah, this is again on vintage hat stands, um, which I really love. Um, so yeah, these just live here. Next to the cabinet, we have a little pot here that holds all of our tall objects, such as our uh, antique tennis rackets, uh, umbrellas, parasols, um, fake axes <laughs> and um, some of Melchior swords as well. Now we move to the main part of the storage which are, which are our actual costumes. Um, this part are usually the very long items um, such as coats. Most of the coats live here. Um, and yeah we have like my 1830s coat, my Inuit coat, um, I have a 1920s coat, uh, yeah, coveralls, my Rose Tico cosplay. So all the long items are in this section. Then the next part is mostly Melchior suits, um, the suits that I've made him over the years. Um, one of the first ones was actually this uniform. Which in hindsight is not that very well done. But for a first try at uniforms, it was pretty good. Now moving on, we have most of my dresses. Um, this is my Duchess um, riding habit. Uh, a Mrs. Lovett from Sweeney Todd cosplay. My bustle dress, some uh, opera dresses, and then we move into my favorite era, the 1830s. So these are my, well, you've probably already seen them before, but uh, the yellow, the green, the red, the white, mm -hmm. the tartan, and then here are all the underskirts, my petticoats, my corded petticoats, the petticoats that go under the bustle dress, which are a lot to the bustle itself. Um, I found this beautiful nightgown at an antique market, which I probably wear at the soiree. 
Um, and then we move to an interesting part, which are the costumes that are for sale. So for the past two years, my family and I have organized the costume market, which is basically like a flea market, uh, but where you can sell all your costumes. Um, so these are all costumes that are for sale. These are costumes I made for my graduation, which um, I don't really fit because they were made to my models. Uh, some fancy costumes that I don't really wear anymore, so they're just collecting dust here and um, I would like them to go to a better home. Um, one of my massive objects is this collar. This was made for a clown outfit and it's actually very hypnotizing when you wear it. But it's actually a printed cotton, if you look at it. But from afar, it's very hypnotizing. So, um, yeah, I found this the best way to store this here. And then here, this is the lower section because we, ha because we have a slanted roof here. Um, this is where all like the short jackets or the short costumes live. But mostly these are also the items that are for sale. On top of here is my elliptical crinoline petticoat that's actually made out of tulle. Uh, but once again, because tulle is very prone to uh, flatten so this one lives up here so it doesn't get flattened and uh, it just stays nice and fluffy and then this is my 1830s writing habit which is still on a dummy which I put there for the question tag video um, and I thought why not keep it on here because uh, I really love this costume this dummy is uh, also for sale not the costume the dummy but that's it <laughs> on which it's on um, so yeah I thought why not use it to display uh, one of my favorite costumes so and then on top of all our costumes we have uh, lots of boxes and containers that keep uh, basically all of our props in there um, we don't really use the props very much anymore because we are mostly into the historical stuff now and not so much more in the fantasy um, kind of era, but um, Melchior has a huge collection of uh, army, SAR plus, uh, whatever army related. So he has about two containers full of army gear that's, you know, belts, buckles, uh, caps, whatever, you name it, he has it. <laughs> um, we have one container full of leather goods, so again, belts, uh, pouches, uh, what are those? The, the arm um, thingies, props we have, and then we have a few containers up there that hold the stuff that's also for sale. So we can just take the containers out and bring them with us without uh, sorting through them again. So those are just ready to go. And then here we have one box that has um, vintage fur in them. So it's real fur, but it's vintage, it's not bought new. And my underwear bin where I keep all of my corsets, my drawers, my chemise. Whatever is considered underwear. So that just all lives up there. Now underneath the costumes we have some uh, storage for the costume market. Again, stuff that's for sale. Some random stuff like suitcases and uh, some more props. One of the items that live here as well is our traveling clothing rack. This rack goes with us to any costuming event we go to. Because we have always so much stuff with us. As you can see, it's easily foldable. These cloning racks are by a Dutch company called Soepel and are often used on movie sets and by stylists. They are pretty pricey, but they occasionally pop up second hand for an affordable price. So what we usually do is we bring this thing downstairs, set it up and then we take our costumes that we need downstairs, hang them up and then on the bottom we can put all kinds of containers, bins, bags, travel bags, whatever else we need and we just roll it out to the car, load the car fold in the soupel, put the soupel in the back, drive to where we're going, take the soupel out, set it up, put everything in and just drive it up to our hotel room or Airbnb, whatever what we have. So this has just made traveling with costumes so much easier and um, this is not an ad. I'm just really happy with this thing and uh, it's super sturdy. It can go over the smallest uh, tiny street tiles or hobbly wobbly roads it can go off road in the woods i've used this also on film sets um so yeah i just want to uh recommend this item because it's sort of it's not a lifesaver but it just makes life so much easier 
And that concludes the tour of our costume storage. I hope you liked it, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our content, please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell to see whenever we post up a new video. Um, so that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next week. Bye! Thank you.